Hello everybody and welcome to the weekly vlog where I talk about topics in relation to the channel and video games in general. So this week I'm going to be talking about why there wasn't any videos last week and along with that a couple of minor changes that's just happening with the channel and uh, basically what I've, what I've been playing over the past while. So the reason there was no videos last week is that I, I've just been very very busy uh, I didn't get a chance to get quite enough videos edited and formatted and just ready in time um, so that's basically what happened there it, it's just I just couldn't get the time to do it I suppose you could say um, but yeah I mean I've this is kinda of going into the few minor changes as well to try and avoid that from happening again um like as, as things have been going lately we we've been doing like 24 videos plus the video log each week and it was fine f for a while but as things have gotten more busy it's harder for me to keep up with that so what i'm going to be doing is and this is going into the minor changes is i'm going to be basically lowering the amount of videos that go up each week there's going to be 18 videos um each week plus the video log um, it's not a massive difference it's only six less videos so it's gonna be like two a day instead of uh, or would it be two a day uh, thereabouts anyway sorry I'm, I'm not fully with it today but um, yeah it, it's gonna be 18 videos um, a week plus plus the video log it's just so as that I don't get into this situation again where I just don't have enough videos or just you know it means that I can stockpile up videos and have a sort of slight backlog of maybe a week or two and that way that if I do get a week where I'm sick and I can't do videos or just things are very busy or something along those lines I then we'll always have a backlog of videos anyway and ready for going it's that's basically why I'm lowering it down from 24 to to 18 because it just means I can just have a bit of a backlog so if I get a week like last week it means I can just still carry on and have a week's worth of videos for you guys and it'll put an end to that problem straight away but that's basically what's what's happening on on the minor changes it, it's nothing significant it's just dropping the amount of videos down from 24 to 18 and like that's why there was no videos last week as well they're just I just didn't get enough time to to edit them all and format them all and things like that I just I only had about half if that and I just couldn't get the time to get those even to my friend or anything like that so that's basically what happened last week. Um, what I've been playing though in, in the meantime is um, of course I've been playing more Pathologic, I'm still motoring through that, we're on part I'm on part 31 now I think, yeah about 31 <coughs> excuse me um, I've just about finished Shadow Grounds, I'm got one level left in that I think um, I haven't really been playing any blood but I'll probably play more of that this week um, and I've been playing Penumbra as I said oh yeah I finished Mias Mata as well actually now that I think about it, um, it, it Mias Mata the last part is going to be very long it's going to it's about 50 minutes but the reason for that was that it kinda how should I put it it got to the point where I was like right I'm right on the end of it here and there was parts of the island I had to still explore and all that but they didn't after doing it they didn't lead to anything and then it came to like the very end of the game so I kinda I did a, a buttload of editing and I took out all the exploration bits because there was just nothing of significance there and what ended up happening was I ended up 
merging the final episode and the second last episode together as to one video because the final episode wasn't long enough to really be an episode on its own as such and I just I just decided to merge them together and just make one video it is longer um, than it generally would be but I saw it as the best way to probably do it and just get it done and finished and that way I could also get an extra penumbra in there so as I promised after Mia's Mata I do another horror game which is Penumbra, it's made by Frictional Games who are the creators of Amnesia the Dark Descent and I've I've finished the first episode, it goes, it's an episodic game so it goes in three episodes, a trilogy of episodes and I've finished Overture which is episode one and I've literally just started today um, episode two Black Plague um, I have previously played through Overture and I played through a bit of Black, Black Plague um, so I do know how it works with Overture but Black Plague I'm starting to go into territory I haven't been in before and then there's the third episode which is Requiem which I haven't even really touched so yeah there's plenty to go with, with Penumbra I'm probably going to be doing that for the next two weeks maybe thereabouts because each episode is a couple of hours long each and I think I got about ten parts out of the first episode but I was keeping it quite solid between 15-20 minutes so that's why it probably extended a bit more um, so I, I'm trying my best to keep it around 15-20 minutes mark because one I don't want my videos to be too long either it was kinda of something I was doing before and I ah, I prefer to sort of keep it within the 15-20 to 20 minutes time frame I might stretch it to 25 but generally I try to keep it within the 20 minute frame uh, time frame the reason being is that uh, one it takes a lot of time to edit longer videos it, it takes more time because there's a lot more to edit and and do two it takes much longer to format like a 20 minute video could take an hour and a half to render as in like have your face cam like the face cam in the top corner and just render it all together so it's all one video that can take like for a 20 minute video that can take an hour and a half um, a half an hour video could take nearly three hours and like one of the shadow grounds episodes that's going up alongside this it was a really long level it took me about 50 minutes in total and that took four hours to actually process properly and get it all put together and it actually that's not including editing time that's not including formatting into mp4 or anything like that that's just what it took to actually process the face cam and the video itself together and basically do and all the editing and everything to make what you will see that took actually about four hours for it to do so that's why I try to keep it as close to 20 minutes as I can because it, for every 10 minutes that's added it it just adds a significant amount of time like it took I think about four and a half hours for that 50 minute one to be done it was fucking ridiculous um, whilst if I did it in 20 minutes I could get about three videos done in the same time if, if, if you kinda see where I'm going so yeah I try my best to keep it to at least about 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes I do sometimes go over and maybe make it into 25 but that's basically the way it, it it's going and I kinda went off topic there but yeah Penumbra it's it's a good game it's very amnesia-ish but it, it takes a whole different story than amnesia was. Amnesia was kind of like uh, you know castles and you know, oil lamps, things like this. This is more in in modern times. It's actually based in the two thousands, and it's the story is very different. It's kind of plays the same. Like it's still got the physics there and everything else. It's the physics aren't as advanced and aren't as polished maybe as Amnesia was because this was like Penumbra was their first time trying this out because. 
the numbers kind of was their experiment before they went for amnesia, despite the fact that amnesia actually nearly broke frictional games, believe it or not. It um they they nearly went bankrupt, they nearly went bust before they could finish amnesia, but they just about managed to to do it and they've made more than their money back from from amnesia, but yeah, amnesia was nearly the fall of, of frictional games. We might not have even had amnesia, which when I think about it, that could have changed things quite significantly. <coughs> I don't know whether it would have changed how horror games went, but in the direction that they went, like, but I think it would have had some sort of impact if it never happened. I mean, like, a lot of games gain their inspiration from Amnesia now, where you don't have the gun, you can't fight, you have to go and hide, and it was kind of Amnesia that started that, because nine times out of ten, when it comes to Let's Players, they actually play Amnesia first, and then they play Penumbra. And so I suppose you could say that Amnesia is kind of what started off this trend of horror games where you have to hide, run and hide, and you can't fight back. Um, Penumbra was first, but it didn't properly in implement that until the second episode, which was Black Plague. It could kind of fight in Overture, but it wasn't really very good. It was a very badly designed combat system that didn't work. It, you didn't really fight in Penumbra, to be honest. In Overture, you just sort of ran. <laughs> you didn't even bother trying to fight. It was just too difficult. Um, but, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I mean, Penumbra is a great game in its own right from what I've played of it so far. I mean, it does reminisce what made Amnesia a good game. Um, it It's done slightly different to what Amnesia was, like the, the monsters and that, and how the monsters work are different. But it's it's not an entirely different game. I mean, if if you know how to play Amnesia, you know how to play Penumbra. It's as simple as that. Um, but I mean, it it's a good game. You can get the collection on GOG.com. I'm sure you can probably get it on Steam as well. Generally, when there's something on GOG, it's always on Steam because Steam is usually the platform that uh, or the online distributor that everybody goes to first because GOG have a very high quality control. On, on their site, so that's why there's actually very few really shitty games on GOG. The odd few do get through, but generally a, you don't get much in the way of bad games on GOG.com because they have such a high quality control, and that's why it can be hard to get your game on to GOG.com. So generally people go to Steam first, and go th if they don't have a publisher, they go through the Steam Greenlight system. That's basically how it works. So. Um, yeah, generally you're going to find it on on Steam as well, but it's a complete collection. It's all three games in one for, for one price, and it's well worth getting. If you like Amnesia, or if you like games like Amnesia and horror games, then I suggest that you maybe, um, you know, just, just give it a try and, and see what you think of it, or, you know, look up a few Let's Plays, look up my Let's Play, whatever, you know, just to see what you think of it, but, yeah, it's, it's a good game, I quite enjoy it, it's got a very interesting story to it, a uh, very different story, I, th in a way, I think, I find the story of Penumbra more interesting than Amnesia, Amnesia, I think they focused more on the horror aspect of the game, and the ambience, and things like that, than they did with Penumbra, but I think that the story felt fell a little bit short, but that that's another discussion for another time. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do find that Penumbra's story is actually more interesting than Amnesia's. Um, I think it's actually quite a, a better written story, to be honest. Just just my own personal opinion, but yeah, definitely check it out anyway, and um, if you like it, as I said, you can get it on GOG. No doubt you can get it on Steam. If it's on GOG, it's generally on Steam. Um, like the only time I have ever found a game that isn't on Steam that's on GOG is Pathologic, and that's that's the only one that I haven't seen. Um, so yeah, I mean that that's pretty much it for for this week's vlog. I'm I'm thinking of doing a second one to go with this because of the fact that I'm lacking one. I I kind of enjoyed going on a rant last time about you know, the the AAA industry and how I see it kind of falling. Um, I went, 
I went a little bit kind of ranty about it, and I kind of enjoyed doing a bit of a rant on it, so... Um, I might do something like that a little bit more, where I talk about something game-related a bit more. Um, I, I don't really keep up with the news on the gaming industry that much. Like, I heard, I've, I've been sort of reading in this week about Konami cancelling uh, the new Silent Hill and uh, they had a bit of an upset with Hideo Kojima so I, I don't know enough details to really go into it but yeah Konami have been having a bit of problems and they're going on about Silent, the new Silent Hill being cancelled and uh, basically Hideo Kojima having a disagreement with him and, and things like that so um, but I mean, it, I could end up just talking about something that's random, you know, just, I, I'm thinking of maybe doing another one, um, now that I've actually talked about frictional games, I'm starting to think <laughs> that's a good topic to talk about, like, because, um, it, it's actually fascinating how, how Amnesia almost destroyed them, but also was their greatest success and couldn't have been the better better thing to happen for them but um yeah i'm go i'm going to leave it here for this one anyway because i'm just i'm starting to ran ramble on now so i'm i'm going to leave it here for this video log but yeah so just quick recap from now on we're going to have uh 18 videos a week um that's pretty much it just to stop this whole thing of not having a week without of having a week without videos and things like that that I don't want that to happen anymore. So we're going to have 18 videos each week instead of 24. It's just so that I can slowly build up a backlog of of videos of about a week or two. So if I become sick and I can't record or if I just if I'm away or if you know, I'm I'm just so so busy that I can't get to do um enough editing and formatting and things like that that there's not enough videos this is basically going to put a stop to that so thank you very much for watching guys i hope that you've enjoyed the video and as always i'll see you in the next one thank you and have fun